arguments to justify why I believe that dietary is are major contributor. I'm not saying that they are the only. I mean, uh, foods are very complicated matrices, and that, that will be ridiculous to say, but are a very important one. AGEs and other major reaction products and questionable generating food during the thermal processing. AGEs generated in food are structurally and physiologically indistinguishable from their endogenous counterpart. AGEs such as CML have been documented again to produce tissue injuries in almost all cell system and tissues thrown. And uh, again, if they are not different from the endogenous, how is the body know if it came from outside or if it came from inside? Oral administration of labeled AG loads in human that we have done have been shown to be absorbed into the circulation and mostly eliminated in the urine, as I said before, but some remaining in circulation and tissues. Diets loaded with AG in different mouse models lead to development of I, I mean, insulin resistance prevented by diet loads in AGs. I show you that. Healthy human subjects exposed to an AG-rich diet show increasing market of inflammation and insulin resistance. I did not show you that. Patients with insulin resistant or type 2 diabetes exposed to a low AG diet show reversal of market of inflammation and insulin resistance. I did show you that. So these are a lot of uh, arguments 